should maybe ask Einstein. That's your best bet. Now, I've got four triggers for you guys today, one of which I'm extremely excited to do. Remember that you guys picked the background color of my next video in the comments, so if you do decide to drop a comment, make sure to include your favorite color between yellow, green, orange, purple, and blue. And if you just so happen to have the most likes, congrats, you'll pick the color for my next vid. So make sure to do that if you feel like it. Also, if you feel like it, no pressure, you can take a look at my other socials. It helps a bunch, so do that if you feel like it. Um, but all that matters is that you're here with me right now. I can't thank you enough for clicking on this video. It means the world to me. Now, without rambling and talking too much, let's just get into the triggers. So first up, I couldn't really wait. Um, I just really wanted to do this trigger first. This is the one I said I was really excited to do. It's on my Rubik's Cube. Now, usually, I would solve this very fast, but for the sake of tingles and entertainment, I'm going to go slow because I don't want to break your ears. That's the exact opposite of what I'm trying to do. So I've already scrambled it. Now let's just get to solving. So, what if we finish the allotted time for this trigger with a little bit of dippy daps? Also, feel free to let me know in the comments if you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube and maybe your record time for a solve. That'd be pretty cool.
might seem very weird, but it's actually extremely tingly. Um, and I only found out very recently because uh, I used this plate to eat a cookie, and I tapped the plate, and it made a really good sound. So. Let's flip it on the other side. I wonder if you guys can actually read what's written here. If you can, congrats, I guess. <laughs> Let's try some very bassy finger pad tapping.
of it is that it's COVID safe, you know, because you have a mask on the mic. 